Last week we had the Electron Vortex Plus adapter that we showed off. Today, the other certified new NAX to CCS1 adapter from Amphenol. Let's get charging. Brought a table to charge to uh, show off all of these adapters that I've got uh, because this is the new one, Amphenol certified. Um, just got it Friday. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Took a little uh, Sunday morning super cruise to kill my battery down to 10%. Uh, but let's go over the ones that I've got here. A to Z, uh, Typhoon Pro, Volvo, uh, Magic Dock-ish, Electron Vortex. Those are the first three that I've got. This one is my previous newest one, the Vortex Plus. This is also certified. And then the newest one, certified NAX to CCS1 adapter. Um, it definitely has the strangest um, setup of all of these uh, with the side button here to um, release both this latch and this latch. The top one just releases the uh, top latch. So uh, on my last video, I did an unboxing uh, showing off these two, the two electrons. Um, because I got that in like retail packaging. Uh, this one looked like I got it off of eBay, um, even though I purchased it from a, a company. Anyway, it came wrapped in some uh, styrofoam uh, sheet and some plastic wrap, but whatever, we're gonna give this a try. So let's go plug in. I have not plugged this in yet. Like I said, I got it on Friday. Okay, this one is locked on here and I did not need to trigger anything to plug it in. But it's latched. It ain't going anywhere. Solid, solid connection, I would say. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use the Quick Charge app, Mount Horeb, closest one to, uh, oh, here we go, it knew we were here. It's 29 feet away. We are on number four. Max in use. Connect and swipe. Only one here at the uh, four station quick trip on a Sunday morning. I've got the uh, camera to record the uh, stats coming off of the uh, machine and uh, we're at 10% um, ran the battery down and uh, yeah I'm not sure which one of these I should eat first are you a bacon egg and cheese croissant or a sausage egg and cheese croissant sandwich from quick trip I'm not sure but uh, we've got a long charge here, so breakfast is here. Let's figure this out. An error has occurred. Unplug error code 44. So let's try this again. I cannot charge now. All right. So uh, on the side here, unplugging. But actually, if you're unplugging from the top, you want to just hit this one because that doesn't release this cable. It just releases the CCS latch. So then I can hit the side one. That's much easier. All right, let's see if we can get this thing going again. Heard something connector-wise. We'll see if, uh, did not hear it last time. So let's see if this thing kicks on. Oh, here we go. 
10%. And we are going. All right, temperature, it's pretty chilly. It's uh, 62 today here in Mount Horeb. And uh, sun feels pretty warm, but uh, let's get our first. We've been going for 3%, two and a half, almost three kilowatts, kilowatt hours at uh, 151 right now. But uh, let's get a temperature here on this adapter. 103.9. Like I said, it is sitting in the sun. One, about a hundred, and not really anything that I would concern myself with. We are 15 kilowatts, kilowatt hours, almost, yeah, 15 pulled. Still at 25% uh, state of charge and still at 156, um, pulling 156. So, um, yeah, thumbs up. 920 so far. I know everybody, um, this is an expensive station, but. Um, Spoiler alert, we're gonna go with the sausage. Hot take. I like bacon more than sausage, but the sausage sandwich is better in my opinion than the bacon one here. So. Just past 33%, hit 34. 24 and a quarter kilowatt hours pulled so far. And uh, let's do another temperature check. <clears throat> Adapter is reading 98, 99, 101, uh, 101.3, 103.4. Let's go to the other side, the shaded side. Let's see what we're getting over here. Yeah. 79, oh, sorry, 81. So 20, 10, 20 degree temperature difference um, on the sun side versus the non-sun side. Makes sense, right? So the cable is reading at 74 on the shady side and 95 on the sunny side, 90, 98, sorry. It's not. I wouldn't even call any either of them warm. We just uh, went over 50%, 51 now. And um, temperature check. Oh, and the sun's just coming out to help. 101.3 has not really changed. 78 on the cable. 20 minutes now of charging. And uh, we have pulled 44.3 kilowatt hours. We are down to 107 and a half kilowatts. Um, and we're at 54%. It says 15 minutes remaining until 80%. So um, still looking good. The uh, machine stopped us, but uh, I'm just gonna unplug and replug. So um, I'm not sure what happened, but disconnect. And reconnect. 
Um, the latch on this sounds very plasticky. Um, I like to hear a loud click that just kind of can, you know, go over all the sounds that are around you. This one's a little bit plasticky. That would be my um, first observation, I guess, or one of my first observations on using this for the first time here today. So we are trying to start back up and error code 74 that time. So let's try it again. This uh, handshake is a little bit longer than the other one. <clears throat> oh, here we go. All right, 62%. Ramping back up. So 72 kilowatts at 62%, um, 73. So we'll, we'll kind of watch that uh, to see if it's any different. Um, again, I don't know why it stopped. We charged 50, just under 52 kilowatt hours. 3067 was the price. So, and I can download the invoice too. So, thumbs up, we're back going. Um, I was uh, slightly distracted trying to shoot a separate video. Um, but uh, we're, we're back at it. The uh, Equinox is definitely uh, humming along, trying to cool the battery down, uh, is my guess. So um, it's possible that it stopped it. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. And like I said, I was trying to shoot a separate video um, at the same time. And you know, what happens when you multitask? Everything goes to, you know. An error occurred, 74. We got four more percent. Apparently I just have to watch this thing like a hawk. This thing's barely warm. Back on. There we go. Okay, we are back. Right away, jumped up to 83, 84 kilowatts. 85, so it's coming back off of the dip a little bit. Um, still only see 62 degrees here. Nine minutes to get uh, all the way up to 80. So let's uh, let's see if we can finish this time. While we're here, 89. Yep, 89 cable. It's reading 69. Shady side. 82, 83, so. Oh, we are back up to 92 kilowatts. Okay, I gotta stay present or it's gonna turn off on us. A little troll here in Mount Horeb is shutting us off every time I walk away, so we gotta figure out a way to make sure he doesn't press the button. I didn't put this together until just now, but cable, adapter, both from Amphenol. Made to work together, maybe, some would say. Three minutes to go to, uh, we're at 74%, pulling 92 kilowatts, and um, yeah, four minutes, and uh, hopefully three minutes now to get 6%. Let's go! Well, we've done it. We've done it, victory! We are at 80%. The car and the uh, unit agree. Well, this one says 79, but we're gonna call it good. From what I could tell um, live, it was very similar to the other charges that uh, other, you know, curves that uh, I've seen. So um, did this thing perform any differently? I don't think so. Now I could, but here, let's just see what happens when I press the side one, All right? Then it comes right out. But if I hit this one, this is still hard connected. You have to release it here. Okay, on, lock, push it down to release. I like it that it's when it locks. I just feel, feel good. So, see you at the next charge.